I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. The mad dash to connect virtually every noun to the internet, the so-called Internet of Things, is creating a massive machine-to-machine -machine network so that all of the devices and sensors and systems and actuators can connect to and communicate on the internet. And with that, they need a communications protocol so that they can understand each other. One of those protocols is message queue telemetry transport. MQTT is a TCP-based subscribe and publish messaging protocol designed for lightweight machine-to-machine -machine communications. You see, not only are we interacting with these devices, these IoT devices and sensors out there, but the machines themselves are communicating with each other on the back end without our knowledge. In fact, most IoT data center traffic is the machine-to-machine -machine traffic. It was originally developed by IBM, and it's based on the hub-and-spoke model. So let's light up how MQTT works. Now, first off, you need a broker, O-C-K-E-R, an MQ broker. It's a gateway, a receiver, a server, if you will, and it allows for the clients to send very short one-hop messages to the broker and also receive messages if they've subscribed to a certain topic. And how that works is, so now we have our MQ broker sitting there in the middle, and then let's just make just a client A out here. And this might be your actual, um, you know, making, uh, making kind of like communication lightning bolts. It's not working out though on the glass. Uh, this might be your sensors, your collectors. And then over here, let's do client B and client C. So how this all works is quite simple. So um, what happens is these particular clients out there will subscribe to a certain topic that then gets published to the broker. And in this instance, in our simple diagram here, say they subscribe to the topic of speed. Speed. And TCP. TCP. And so all three will open a TCP connection to the MQ broker. They've subscribed to the topic of speed. Now over here, when this sensor, this client, um, actually updates the topic of speed or actually publishes the speed information, and so say it publishes speed as 15 mph. So now information has been published to the topic of speed. These clients out here have subscribed to the topic of speed. And so when a new piece of information gets published to the topic, they then get the information. 15 MPH, 15 MPH. And that's really as simple as it gets on how MQTT works. Now, a lot of people also maybe describe it as the uh, post office model, if you will, where the broker itself is the post office and our homes can be the various clients that are out there. And we can either send or receive letters, messages, if you will, from the post office. So you can, you know, any one of these clients can publish or receive messages based on a certain topic. From a security standpoint, MQTT does, off, uh, does allow uh, username and password authentication, and so these clients can certainly log on, password authentication. Version 3.11 has become an OASIS standard, and you know one of the things we've been uh, struggling with over the last couple of years, particularly with um, IoT, is some standards in communications. There's a number of, you know, a lot of them just connect Wi-Fi, TCP, IP. Um, and then uh, as far as Big IP is concerned, MQTT support is available in Big IP version 13. So there you have it, a quick 
Lightboard lesson on how message queue telemetry transport works in a machine to machine Internet of Things IoT, IoT environment. If you like this video, check out our, our others, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the community. I'm Peter, and thanks for watching.